Well, while parents are becoming more worried about concussions in youth football, they're seeing flag football as a better option. 27 First News reporter James Santelli talked to parents and coaches about what's making the sport so popular here in the Valley. One, two, three, fight! Game. Chad Vaudhandle has been coaching his son's teams for Youngstown Youth Flag Football the last six seasons. Just try to teach them little life lessons, you know what I mean? Keep, keep going. If you're down in a game, keep your head up. You know, don't ever give up. Just keep going. And across the country, flag football keeps growing. Since 2010, fewer kids are taking part in tackle football, but the NFL says the number of kids in their flag football leagues has doubled. And I think that what it comes down to is just parents want their kids to be safe. They want them to have fun. They want them to just be involved and learn the game of flag football. Elliot Giles is a coach and the league's president, and he sees flag football as complementing tackle football, not replacing it. The truth of the matter is that we're just here as a different option. If a parent chooses to play tackle, we support that 100%. But if they want a different option for flag and for their kids, Youngstown Youth Flag Football offers that for them. It's a really good sport, and you can really do a lot of things when you play flag football. And because the league is getting more kids like Nathan, the league outgrew its former home at Boardman High School and has started playing at Mill Creek Park's Rocky Ridge. He gets to play at the playground whenever, you know, if there's not games going on, we've got some downtime. Um, just more space, the feel. I mean, we can even go, you know, through the park later and stuff like that. It's, it's by far the best decision made. It's great. A new home for the sport that's quickly becoming a favorite for kids in the Valley. At Mill Creek Park, James Santelli, WKBN 27, First News.